The Rockworks Borehole Ops is a collection of tools used for the creation of diagrams based on data stored in the Borehole Manager database. The Borehole Manager database is a SQLite or SQL Server database designed to store subsurface information such as lithology, stratigraphy, borehole geophysics, and analytical information. This video will give you some tips on navigating the Borehole Manager and will demonstrate some of the more popular tools included in the Borehole Ops. The Borehole Manager is composed of a borehole pane on the left side of the window that includes a list of boreholes within the current project. The buttons to the right of the borehole pane refer to various data tables in the Borehole Manager database. Select a borehole and a table to view data for the selected borehole. The Project Manager, which is docked here on the left side of the window, includes lists of tables that are embedded in the database, as well as lists of grids, models, and graphics that are created from the data and stored in the project folder, which is displayed here. The output dimensions can be accessed at the top of the screen and govern the size and spacing for the models created in the project. To create a borehole location map, go to Maps, Borehole Locations. In the resulting window, you'll see a list of menu items to the left and instructions to the right of that. Click on the Symbol Options tab to determine which labels will be plotted on the map. Click on the Continue button and a new tab will be added to the window displaying a map in the Rockplot2D program. To change something about the map, make adjustments in the menu and then click on the Continue button. A new tab will be created and will display an updated map. Next, we'll move on to a cross-section. To create a simple hole-to-hole -hole cross section, go to Strip Logs, 2D Strip Log section. In the resulting window, you'll see the standard menus on the left side of the screen, along with the help messages on the right. You'll also see a number of other tabs across the top, such as the 2D Log Design tab and the Section Location tab. In the Section Location tab, use your mouse to draw a cross section line. A 2D cross-section will be created and displayed in a new tab. To change something about the diagram, for example, to add a curve showing geophysical information to the strip logs, simply make the change in the 2D log design tab and click on the continue button again. If you wish to view this cross-section later, simply save the image through the file menu. It can be reopened later through the project manager. Finally, I'll demonstrate the creation of a 3D block model through the iData menu. When creating a block model, you'll need to specify the type of data to use and the name of the model being created. I'll use the default modeling and display options and will click on the Continue button to proceed. The resulting plume model will initially display as a pink block in the Rockplot 3D viewer. To better view the model, I'll right-click on the model in the Rockplot 3D data window and choose Options. Here, I can experiment with various ISO levels and visualization schemes. To add 3D strip logs to the view, I'll check on the plot logs option in the menu. I'll adjust the 3D strip log settings in the strip log designer, and I'll click on the continue button again. This 3D view can be saved as well and can be reopened later through the project manager.